Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So today I wanted to have a quick discussion on these guys. These are the Hill Sound Free Step 6 traction system. A lot of times people refer to these colloquially as a micro spikes. Um, so in case you've never seen these, what these do uh, is you can throw them over your existing shoe or hiking boot and they basically act like snow chains do to your car tires, right? They give you a lot better traction on snow and ice. You can see basically they are like mini crampons, right? So you can just throw them right on top in situations where you need a little bit of extra traction. So um, I've had these for about two years. I got them from REI. They go for anywhere between $50 and $60. And uh, what I wanted to do today was talk a little bit about how they've held up over the past two years and what I think about them. So if that sounds like fun, let me go ahead and show you what comes in the box. All right, so let's go ahead and get these out of the box. So we've got a set which is in size small and one which is in size medium. Um, as you can see, yep, free step six. This is what the box looks like. Pretty darn simple, uh, nothing special. Although, except here, this is actually might be of interest to some people. Here's the sizing chart. Um, as you can see, uh, depending if you're using it with trail shoes or uh, hiking or kind of insulated boots, the size is different so again here's what they recommend I'll just show this here you can pause the video if you're interested in finding out what's the appropriate size for you we'll go ahead and try that out in a second um, but anyways what else is on the back yeah it's got 21 steel spikes it's got the rubber part um, yeah that's uh, pretty much it. it says it's ultra light here I guess we'll weigh it here and see what the deal is um, oh here they claim Here's what the weights are. So let's see how close that is with the scale in just a second. Um, okay, so anyway, that's what the box is. I think this an unboxing is probably gonna be really simple. I can't imagine there's anything in here. Uh, yep, there's, there's the micro spikes here. And uh, oh, here, I guess you do get a user's manual. Okay, so it tells you how to take it on and off. Oh, actually, this is a little bit more involved than I would have expected from a pair of uh, spikes. This is probably pretty easy. Again, here's the sizing chart um, that we discussed. And uh, yeah, that's what you get in the box. So um, again, we got the smalls over here. We got a pair of mediums over here. Uh, okay, so let's take a look at these. Um, let's take a look at these smalls to start with. So obviously you've got yourself the rubber part and the spikes. So the spikes, yeah, these look all, they look very nice, very beefy. Uh, we're gonna give these a try. The rubber feels good, pliable. Um, what's interesting, I wonder, you know, it does say front and back here, but does it actually say the size on this? I wonder if I'm gonna have a trouble keeping these apart. So, oh here, actually, yeah, it does here. Okay, so on the on one side of the rubber, so you can see here, this one says size small, good. So I can hopefully be able to keep apart the, sm the small ones will be easy to distinguish from the larger ones. Yep, this one says size medium. That's interesting. They they say it in, in, in completely different manners. You would think this would be the exact same. Look at this. Look at this. Why do they do that? That's that's so weird. Look, the small one says size slash tie s slash p small slash petite this one just says size m so that's a that's a weird inconsistency with these two um huh that's that's kind of fascinating otherwise they seem to be pretty much the same thing uh yeah okay all right so tell you what let's let's go ahead and weigh these just for curiosity and see what they are and see if it actually lines up so uh let's try the pair of smalls to start off with so those ones all together about 320 grams okay for a pair of smalls let's see how about a pair of mediums come on sit on there 343 grams so okay there you go so uh, that's the unboxing portion of it why don't we go ahead and throw these onto some boots and see how they do all right, let me show you how to get it onto your shoe now. So to do that, just go ahead and grab it, shake it out, obviously make sure that the links are not tangled up, and then find the front and the back. So I always find it easiest to find the front. There's this little bar right here, which denotes the front. So just go ahead and slip the toe over 
your front like that. And then all you're gonna have to do is basically just work it and pull it around the back, right? So there you go, that's not that bad, right? I'm just gonna pull it up, make sure that it is nice and uh, tight. And as you can see, this looks pretty darn good. You can also do this with the shoe uh, free, right? So I actually just threw this on in case you don't want to take them on and off if you're going in and out of, you know, your cabin and it's snowy and icy. You don't actually need to remove the uh, traction system in order to get your shoe on and off. So you can, uh, that's another way to go about it. So there you go. It's on nice and tight, right? And uh, let's go ahead and uh, I'll show you some footage of how these have held up uh, in some actual real world scenarios. So over the past two years, my family's been using these for most of our winter excursions. Um, they're surprisingly comfortable and easy to walk in. When you're on snow, you can barely notice they're even on your shoe. Um, when you're on ice, you can definitely notice mostly because you're not sliding around. And uh, even when you're walking on concrete or asphalt, they actually feel fine. And more importantly, I've inspected the spikes afterwards and they don't seem any worse for the wear. So here's something a little interesting. Uh, I've been doing a little bit of uh, spring hiking. I was just coming down here and as you can see the, the spring slush stops here and we're back on the trail. So I decided to take the, the spikes off and uh, I noticed that most of the spikes, look at this, they are caked up with ice. <laughs> so the ice actually forms in here and actually goes through the hole in the back and forms almost like this plug. So. Uh, a lot of the spikes, when I was banging them off, a lot of this, these didn't come out. And in fact, I was walking around for a lot of the time. So I'm sure this decreases the traction a little bit. I mean, you can you can definitely pop these things out after the fact, but uh, that's kind of interesting. See, here, here here's another one where it was just kind of jammed in there. So uh, something to think about. It's interesting. So long story short, I really enjoy this Freestep 6 traction system. Um, in fact, just yesterday, uh, there was this giant ice storm. Um, our driveway, which is a little bit uphill, was completely covered in ice, and we wanted to go out and take the dog for a walk. And actually, it was funny. We actually had to push uh, Gus, that's our dog, we had to push him up the driveway because it was so slippery that he actually couldn't walk with his paws. Um, now, the reason we were able to push him up is because we were wearing these on our shoes and uh, in a situation where the dog even couldn't go up this hill there was no problem once you put these spikes on and you've got perfect traction over ice I mean I wouldn't go running around um, in that situation but it definitely made it feasible and doable and a lot more safe to be wearing this traction system slash micro spikes in situations like that um, the other thing that I really like about them is is you saw when we put them on and we were walking around you can see that this thing goes over your shoe uh, over the, the the box of your toe quite a lot and the rubber rides very high up long story short this is super sturdy i've never had a problem with these falling off or coming undone and i haven't ever had to try to modify them they just work right out of the box and they don't come off now i've tried other systems for, for example this is my uh younger daughter's pair of snow boots and you know you can see here she's got these yak tracks on here and and let me just show you in the comparison you, you can kind of see there's no real comparison right these these um the free step six traction system these are these are spikes right these are basically mini crampons, whereas things like Yak Tracks, where they might be more popular and definitely cheaper, you can see they're just these cheesy Mickey Mouse pieces of rubber with this, this you know, a little bit of uh, metal wrapped around it, right? So you got some wire wrapped around it. Like, this is just nowhere near um, the, the traction of a full set of spikes. And I know what you're maybe thinking, you're like, oh yeah, this is like a kid's shoe. Well, you know, I have Yak Tracks for my adult shoe, and you can kind of see, same, same issue, right? The yak tracks are just not as good from a traction perspective. And also they're not as good from a, from a, uh, ability to stay on your shoe perspective. Let me show you my daughter's uh, boots and notice there's only one yak track and this one is bare. You know why this is bare is because we went walking around and, uh, you know what? This one uh, stayed on. This one just fell off some random spot on the trail. We have no idea where it is. So uh, we basically lost one because it, it just doesn't stay on. And you can even see, the, I even tried to jury rig some of this, uh, this, this yak track to make it stay on a little bit better. So I added this Velcro strap on top so that it would act more like the 
free step system where you actually have it going over the, the uh, box of your toe to try to keep the yak track on and that still failed, right? So we lost that pair and actually the, my adult pair of yak tracks in the same situation. I only have one of them because I was walking around and the, the, the yak track just fell off, right? And it just did, plain old didn't work, right? Um, and that, it's not just for yak tracks, right? Here, here's another pair of these you know, alternative traction systems where, you know, it's a si similar design as a Yak Track where, you know, this goes over your shoe and then, yeah, they, they've got a little bit more spiky grip. So this one does do a little bit better and is more closely uh, in performance to the uh, Free Step Sticks, but same thing, like these will fall off. And again, you can see my little uh, jerry-rigged system to try to add um, some uh, attachment points so that it doesn't happen as much, but still these you know, these things, the Yak Tracks, uh, they might be cheaper, but man, uh, what, what's what's the phrase, right? Buy it, uh, buy it nice or buy it twice, right? Um, I would rather spend the money on the better system and only have to have it purchased one time instead of losing it multiple times. And you know, these just plain old don't work. So uh, these, like I said, I. I can't go over enough, like, I think these are awesome, right? They work great. In fact, um, let me show you another situation. They work so great. Um, I, I was actually at REI the other day, and they were, I found a pair of these in the uh, bargain bin, the used bin, and um, they were about $30, so about half price, and, you know, that's not the greatest deal for something, you know, uh, being used, but I couldn't turn it down. So I actually ended up getting a pair for my daughter, um, even though, as you can see, they are way too big for her boot, right? You can see this is all like jangling and hanging off. But surprisingly, the toe, this stays on quite nicely. And we were walking around for about three miles yesterday in the snow and ice with a setup like this, and she had no problem. Even though this was, you know, loose in the, in the heel and wasn't really doing a lot, the additional traction here on the toes was plenty enough for her to walk. So again, this is one of these situations where even if it doesn't quite fit, it still works. So it, I, I love it, right? It's working great. The only other thing that I'll maybe mention that I thought was interesting is I've started carrying around my Free Step 6 system here in little bags. I used to just have them free like this and I would throw them into my backpack or I'd throw them in the back of the car um, and things like that. And then one time what actually ended up happening is the, you can see these chains. I don't know if you can see the links very easily, but um, it ended up with a situation where somehow one of these links got twisted over and hooked in and sort of quasi locked into another one of uh, their the rings. So basically, and, and it was, I have no idea how I got it that locked, but I couldn't get it out with my hands. I had to actually go grab some needle nose pliers and try to pry the thing loose to get it back in this configuration so I could put it over my shoe. So again, this is why I've started carrying them around in small bags. So hopefully that it won't jostle and rustle around as much as freely. And hopefully I can avoid that situation because yeah, you sure don't want to be, you know, three miles up a trailhead with some ice and then pull these out of your backpack and then realize, uh oh, I can't get them on because these links have have tangled themselves. So that's the one sort of drawback that I've discovered with these is um, these links may have the potential to uh, get entangled. So again, you just got to watch out for them. So um, yeah, I think, like I said, uh, I really enjoyed them. My whole family has enjoyed them. We use them for two years with pretty much zero issues. They work great. And I think they're a, they're a really nice investment and something to have, especially if you're out playing in the snow and ice on a quasi regular basis. So with that being said, uh, I think this is probably a great spot to leave it. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if so, I also hope you'll consider subscribing to the channel. Surprisingly, if you just scroll a little ways down and click on that subscribe button, it really does help me continue making these videos. And remember the new videos come out every Monday. So I hope we'll be able to catch you at one of these future discussions and we can all learn something new together. So until then, I think I'll sign off. Talk to you later. Bye.